Hey guys, Alexandria here and welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to uh, get ready with you guys. I thought it would be fun to get ready and show off some new to me products and kind of test them out together. And I also feel like I want to chat about things in the beauty community. I know I'm late to the party, but I really just had some stuff I felt like I needed off my chest. So if you guys are ready, let's dive in. So those of you who don't know, I am a makeup collector. So if you enjoy collecting makeup just like I do, you should definitely consider clicking that subscribe button as well as the little notification bell down below so you don't miss out on videos from me. So let's get into today's uh, get ready with me. I've got the new Holiday Bare Minerals Aurora Lights palette to share with you guys. There's probably already a full review on my channel. Uh, I have the a couple of blush bouquets from Jouer, a bronzer from Jouer I want to test out. I want to show you guys this new Thrive sponge, or newer to me Thrive sponge. Um, also the Makeup Revolution concealer I want to play with a bit more. And then I have a various assortment of different lip products that I picked up from the VIB sale that I want us to test out together. Um, I'm not sure what's going to go with the look because I don't know what look I'm going to do. I did already apply my under eye brightening and my eyeshadow primer because I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. So let's get started with the Bare Minerals eyeshadow. Like I said, full review is probably already live on my channel, so I'll link to it if it is. And here is what we're working with today. Super duper basic, but I just... I don't know, something about the like basicness of this palette was just really speaking to me. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's so, I don't even know. So I am, uh, I'm going to start applying some shades. If you want to hear my thoughts, I'll link the video because I want to chat with you guys. So I'm curious to chat with you guys about all the stuff that I'm seeing going on in the beauty community. I feel like over the last really like handful of weeks, a lot of stuff has just completely imploded um, with particularly like some of the really large influencers and then some various stuff is coming out. I'm gonna go in with the shade Delightful. Uh, and I just feel like a lot of stuff is coming up, out about some of the bigger influencers and some kind of what sounds to be like shady business deals uh from what i'm hearing i if you're looking for like the tea and me knowing any like dirty little secrets i don't know anything um, i know what you guys know for those of you who are following um, all the drama and kind of what's been going on in the community and some concerns about dishonesty and i think the big kind of takeaway for me is i that i want people to know is i feel like that What's going on is just such a small portion of the beauty community. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, I feel like this is just not a good representation of the beauty community as a whole. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade Wavelength, which is this brown here. I think this is just like a small number that's kind of making the rest of us look bad. And I think it's just kind of coming out because of the names that are associated. Does that make sense? So, <clears throat> because for me, like when I watch YouTube and personally speaking, and I'd love to hear from you guys, personally speaking, I don't generally connect with larger influencers. Like I generally don't find myself just feeling connected to them. And that's huge for me. That's really the only reason that I subscribe to a YouTube channel is if they they speak to me on like a personal level does that make sense i know that sounds kind of weird to some folks but that's just kind of how i feel like i'm likely not going to subscribe to you unless i feel connected to you because i am just like you guys i'm a youtube watcher i'm also a a makeup purchaser that's you know let's see I'm gonna do something different today. I'm sorry, I know I'm like breaking up my thoughts with makeup things. I'm gonna go in with the shade Santorini and I'm actually gonna put that into the crease, which is a little atypical for me. I don't normally put shimmer in the crease, but I um, 
this palette doesn't offer a ton of variety in the mattes necessarily. But anyway, to get back to what I was saying, sorry. <laughs> I But I just feel like it's such a small number of people who are kind of taking advantage and so it makes the rest of us look bad and I know some of you guys are probably thinking well like Alexander what do you know you're like super small like non-existent um, in the scheme of YouTube like what is any of this business to you and I mean if in the grand scheme of things I just like you guys I mean I buy 99.9% .9 of the makeup that you guys see on this channel and I'm not saying that to be shady in any way I'm just saying like I just like most of you guys sorry the Sun is like not deciding what it wants to do um, I just like you guys am impacted from people making claims that something is awesome when it's not but generally speaking you know because I I do have a beauty channel I feel compelled to review stuff for myself anyway so I potentially would buy something because I want to try it out for myself. And so it's, it matters slightly less, you know, what X, Y, or Z, you know, big person says about it. But sometimes I do buy things based off of recommendations, depending on whether or not I'm planning on reviewing something. Oh, I took the shade perspective. <laughs> I think that's kind of an ironic uh, shade name for a topic of discussion. Uh, but yeah, I just I wanted to kind of chat with you guys about it and I, I want to be clear because I think there is this like super negative connotation about things like PR and about things like sponsorships and I have no issue with that. I mean as someone who has never had a sponsored video and as someone who has never really received PR I've received like a PR package again not saying that to throw shade just saying like in the grand scheme of things like I, I don't have any of that pull but I really don't take issue with that I think uh, the fact that companies send out PR is a great opportunity for influencers to be able to review products for us myself and other consumers and have a better like well-balanced review because you know they get PR with all 30 lipstick shades or whatever the case may be. And so that can be very, it can be very beneficial for the consumer as long as there's transparency there. Because for me, that's the ultimate issue I take is if you are going to, you know, if you're gonna promote a product, I'm totally fine with that. As long as you are being honest and you really like the product, you're not gonna hear any beef from me. Uh, again, same kind of good thing goes with sponsored videos, I feel like you know, I feel like there are a lot of great honest YouTubers and I think it's amazing that they get such great opportunities to do sponsored content, you know, with various different companies because they're being honest about it and I feel like they can be trusted. And I think some of the, I'm sorry, I'm just like a chatty rambling fool today. Um, I think, hmm, what do I want to go in with? Hmm. Pause for a moment while I decide what shade I want to use. Do something fun today. And we're going to go in with the shade Comet because I so rarely use like silvers and stuff. So we're going to, we're going to use that. Okay. So anyway, but for me, like transparency is completely key with all of this. Like I have absolutely no problem with sponsored content. I have no problem with, uh, things like that because I know that I, I, or at least I feel like I can trust the people that I'm watching. And if I don't feel like I can trust what you're saying to me, then I just kind of take it with a grain of salt. And I think that's kind of what it comes down to for me is that, holy crap, can we talk about like the intensity of this shade for a minute? Uh, this is really, really pretty, but it's packing a punch for sure. <clears throat> But for me, it's, you know, again, it's, it's transparency and it's feeling like I can trust you. And the bottom line for me is that, you know, not everybody has the same taste. And so it's not necessarily always that a product isn't good when somebody says it is. It's just that they have different opinions than we do. And it doesn't make their opinion wrong. And also doesn't mean they're lying to you. It just means that potentially they have different tastes. Like, I'll give you an example. 
Um, Emily Noel 83 is probably one of the, <clears throat> in my opinion, one of the most honest influencers, and I think a lot of folks would agree with me on that. And she's never done a sponsored video, which mad props to her for being able to do that. But, you know, she, um, I consider her to be one of the most honest people on the planet. And I genuinely believe that everything that she says she likes, she really does like. But she and I don't necessarily always have the same taste in makeup preferences. So when she tries something and she really loves it, I'm sure she really does love it, but sometimes I try and I'm like, eh, I didn't really like it that much. It didn't do anything for me. Not because she's a liar, but because she genuinely likes it and we have different makeup taste. So I think that's kind of a, a, a like a point of confusion for people sometimes too, is they just assume, well, I tried this product and I thought it sucked. Um, and so-and-so, I'm not even gonna say any names about negative people, but so-and-so said they liked it, so they're a liar. And I don't think that's really fair. I think we all just have different like makeup tastes and makeup vibes. And so sometimes what works for me and my skin tone, my skin type, so forth and so on, doesn't work for you and that's totally cool. And it also doesn't make me a liar or you a liar or anyone else a liar for that matter. But I just feel like I wanted to come on camera and talk about this because I just feel like people, influencers in the community get a bad rap and I genuinely believe that is such a small number and there are so many like kick butt people out there who just rock at YouTube, who do sponsored content, who, you know, who get the PR and who are just awesome and they're just killing it. Uh, a couple examples, I wrote down some examples. I'm like, you could, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss any points of topic I wanted to discuss, so I took notes. Um, like, for example, like Samantha March, for example. She is, let's see, pause for a moment. Okay, here is the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I'm done with the eyes for the moment. But, so, like Samantha March, for example, I think she is just a complete rock star and she does sponsored content and she accepts PR but she's honest in her reviews and she doesn't pretend she likes something when she doesn't and she doesn't promote things that she doesn't really genuinely like and so I know even though her content is sponsored I know I can trust her I know that what she says she genuinely believes um, kind of the same thing with like coffee break with Danny you know who's even larger and uh, Jam Beauty and I, Jessica Braun, same kind of thing. Like I appreciate that they get to do sponsor content and instead of me being like, oh, that sucks or she's obviously lying to me or he is obviously lying to me because the video is sponsored, I go into it thinking like, wow, that's really amazing that they're getting such an awesome opportunity. Uh, I think that's absolutely amazing. And so I, you know, I applaud that for those people that get these opportunities. Does that make sense? I know I'm like, I don't know, I'm just feeling very chatty today, <laughs> but I really want to know what you guys think down in the comments. So please leave your thoughts down in the comments. Just be nice to one another, please. Uh, and be nice to me. <laughs> I can accept constructive feedback, but um, you know, please just, no hate is necessary. Uh, because for me, it's just makeup. Makeup is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be can we talk about how much I love this Thrive Sponge? They did send this to me for a campaign that they did. And um, I got like a little sample of the BB cream. And it was for, I don't even remember what the campaign was for. <laughs> um, but they sent me a sample to do. The campaign was a charity that promotes health, wellness, and achievement for women. Um, oh, breast cancer charities. Anyway, so so I could do like a, uh, whatever. My brain's not working. Um, but I love this sponge. It's freaking awesome. The BB cream is fine. I'm not really that much of a BB cream person anyway, so, uh, but the BB cream is a BB cream, but this freaking sponge, man, it rocks. Um, again, not sponsored. <laughs> Thrive Cosmetics does not know how big at this video. Um, but, you know, and that's kind of, you know, my point in all of this is that I really do genuinely believe that this community is full of mostly good people. I really do. And I think that just a few bad apples are kind of spoiling it for people. So it's a situation where you have to decide 
who you trust. Yes, I know this foundation looks incredibly light and it actually doesn't look as light in person as it does on camera, but it's just a situation where, you know, you have to decide who is worthy of your trust. And I, and not even just who is worthy of your trust, but who do you share makeup vibes and makeup taste with, you know, cause that's also a piece of what it comes down to is who, whose makeup vibes do you vibe with? You know what I mean? It's just like I was talking about with Emily before is Emily's an amazing influencer and she is an awesome and honest reviewer, but we don't always have the same taste and that's perfectly okay. Uh, because different people have different makeup vibes, different skin tones, different skin textures, all of that stuff, like every single bit of it. So it's about not only finding people who are honest, but also about finding people who you relate to and people who you feel like have the same taste as you. And, or maybe it's even the opposite and you know you don't necessarily have the same taste as somebody else. So maybe you're seeking out opposing reviews from you. So maybe you don't like a product um, or maybe you hear a recommendation from someone you know has different tastes than you. And so you can kind of just be like, okay, well this person doesn't have the same makeup vibes as me and they liked it. So I'm probably not going to like it. Or for example, like you have dry skin and I recommend something. My, I have combo skin. So what works for my combo skin may very well not work for your dry skin. Uh, and that's okay. So maybe it's like a heads up to know, well, this person has combo skin, like my friend Jody has dry skin. And so sometimes I'll recommend like foundations or concealers or something. And she's like, well, if it works for you, it's probably not going to work for me. And it's not because I'm a liar. It's because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't work for her because of her skin type. I'm still in the testing phase. I bought this a little while ago and I thought it broke me out, but I think it was just my favorite time of the month. Um, this is the all nighter from Urban Decay, their little setting powder. And I thought it broke me out, but I'm an idiot and I think it was just my favorite time of the month. But this powder does have a little bit of color to it, which is not necessarily a bad thing since I look like a ghost with, <laughs> with this, uh, with this uh, Beauty Blender foundation. But I didn't want to return it because I didn't want the hassle of dealing with Sephora nonsense uh, and Sephora customer service. I don't always have the best luck with that. I just didn't want to fool with it. And I was like, I can make it work. But I did test my shade and I could actually go, I am the next shade up. That's my like actual shade <laughs> is the uh, second shade in the line. Whatever shade number that is, I have no idea. Also, this foundation looks better on camera than it does in real life. So. I don't know necessarily, I like it, but it's definitely like full coverage. It's not that like airbrush flawlessness. Like you can definitely see it on face. Okie dokie. <clears throat> All right, so let's have a look at these. So I brought, bought two blush bouquets and then I did pick up the bronzer. Uh, let's see, so this is the bronzer in light to medium because I'm a go big or go home kind of gal, right? Why just buy one and test it and see if it works out when you could just buy 86 of them and then decide, <laughs> right? Like there's the logic. This looks super light, so, which is good for me, but I'm not sure I'd say all the way to medium, but I guess we're about to find out. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go in with the shade I think is sunlight. I'm not sure, it's, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> they look very similar in the pan. Uh, but yeah, so here's what I want you guys to know from me. And if you take nothing else away from this video, other than I'm a loud mouth who needed to share my opinion, if you take nothing else away from this video, know that my promise to you is to always be honest with you because that is who I am as a person. I, I cannot and will not tell lies. I just, I can't do it. It's not in my nature. It's just not who I am as a human being and as a person. So it is my promise to you that I will always be honest to you. No matter what, it doesn't matter the size of the channel, whether I shrink, whether I grow, whether it's sponsored content, whether it's PR, I don't care because you guys are my priority. And I need you to understand that. So please know if you take nothing else from this video that you guys, my subscribers, you are my priority, priority numero uno. And no brand and no product is gonna change that. So you have my word 
and my word is everything to me. You have my word that I will always be honest with you. So I need you to know that. And I sh I'm sure there are folks out there being like, Alexandra, you don't know Jack. You are like microscopic on YouTube. Nobody knows who the hell you are. So what makes you think you can make that kind of promise? I can make that promise because I'm me and I am who I am. And I pride myself on being a genuine human being. So it doesn't matter if I grow, I shrink, if brands decide they want to start sending me PR, it does not matter because you guys are most important and makeup is supposed to be fun. You shouldn't have to question whether or not someone is telling you the truth or not. You shouldn't have to question that, but you have to, unfortunately, because there are dishonest people out there, which sucks, but that's the reality, unfortunately. All right, we're like super serious, man. This is... <laughs> It's getting a little soapboxy. I'm really sorry, you guys. All right, let's get back to the makeup because that's what the whole channel is about. All right, let's see here. So I have two of the blush bouquets. One I ordered off of Jouer. And can we talk about Jouer's packaging for a minute? I meant to take a picture, but Karina's sitting in the box now. Uh, I'll try to pose the picture. But he was so wrapped beautifully. I think I'm just so used to Sephora's like shitty, just like throw it in the box packaging that when the packaging was all beautiful and wrapped with tissue paper and fanciness. I didn't know what to do with myself. Anyway, all right, so this one is the, okay, so this one is the rose gold. So that's this one. And then this one is in the Adore Blush Duo. Let me kind of hold them up side by side. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, um, the camera's kind of washing it out a little bit, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. I think, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the rose gold one only just because I was more excited about it. I really like the way this bronzer turned out though. It's a little warm, but I do like it. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, all right, I'm off my soapbox now, but I really do, you know, want to know what you guys think about all of this. What do we think? Do we like this? It's a nice, like subtle... These are nice subtle powders, which I really like because as someone who is super fair, I get super heavy handed real quick. I'm sure you guys have noticed in some of my videos lately where I'm like, Alexandra, how much damn blush did you put on? <laughs> For real. For real though. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we are or kind of my thoughts on all this drama and stuff with the community. I'm gonna, in the description bar, I'm gonna put some channels that I love, that I respect, that I know give honest um, reviews, big or small, and I just know um, that I can trust them. I just took the like shimmery shade, which is Rose Petal, um, and I'm just taking that on the top of the cheek there and now I have too much blush because story of my life all right I'm gonna have to pull a, a Danny's trick and <laughs> use my powder to uh blend out my screw up here this silver eyeshadow though it's like blowing me away right now all right <clears throat> super all right so for highlighter I don't really have anything like super new, but some stuff, something I haven't tried on camera. Okay, so this is from Adept Cosmetics. This is their little like travel case. I wish it wasn't so big, but I really like the idea of it. So you've got this like blush, not blush, brush area over here. And then when you lift it up is your eyeshadows and that sort of stuff. Uh, so the only reason I'm even pulling it out to show you is because it's cool, but also because the highlighter I want to use is in here and it's the Sydney Grace highlighter and it's in the shade Rhythm. I still want to do my full review for you guys on the um, on the products that I've tried because I've tried quite a bit uh, from that like bag that I got so I want to try that out for you guys. Uh, I mean I want to try that. No. I want to review that for you guys so stay tuned for that. Also, I'm curious what you guys want as far as like holiday releases goes. Obviously that Bare Minerals palette is a holiday thing and so I'll be reviewing that. It's probably already up. <clears throat> There's that highlighter. Isn't that pretty? 
uh, and that's probably already up but I'm curious if there are other things that are speaking to you that you guys want to see okay so I'm gonna jump off camera really fast because this video is already <laughs> way too long and I'm gonna do my eyebrows and eyeliner mascara and then we'll come back and we'll do some lip products so I was feeling sassy so I put on some false lashes too and while I was away I did go ahead and take Meteor Shower which is this like royal blue and I put that on my lower lash on my on my lower lash line and then I put the shade Spotlight which is really really beautiful I put Spotlight here on the inner corners of my eyes so <clears throat> didn't want to forget to share that with you guys all right let's talk lip products so I've got the newish Marc Jacobs, what are these even called? Marc Jacobs Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick in the shade uh, Mauve Time. One Mauve Time. Huh, I get it. One Mauve Time. Okay. Anyway, uh, so that's this, and it's a twist up stick that you can't twist back down, which I find really annoying. All right, so there's that. That will go really nicely. What else do we have? Okay. Then I've got this Bite Beauty uh, liquid liquefied lip in the shade Kava. These were being discontinued, so I went ahead and picked one of these up. This may make me look dead, so yeah. May regret that decision. I also smell mint. Okay. Why am I smelling mint? Actually, the mint's coming from the Marc Jacobs. Okay, and then I have this little Clinique set here the uh what do you call this this is the black honey and there's three different things in here i put it away so fast there's the the gloss the stick what do you call this come on get out of here the chubby stick and then the like lipstick so let's see and this is okay all right so there are the three options here i feel like the black honey is going to be for a more like natural lip day so let's let's go with the mark jacobs i feel like i should line my lips let's use the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner was the mint in this. Well, it's pretty. I don't know if it's worth the price point, but it's pretty. And it goes with the look. So, so yeah. Alrighty guys, so that's it. That's gonna do it for today's Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and enjoyed hearing me chat about things in the beauty community. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, please be nice to one another. But if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope you got a thumbs up and please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on future videos from me. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.